Spring has sprung throughout the land. It's Derek D. Let's give a hand. Hey, thank you. Yeah. That's right. The first day of spring. Wow. We've had spring here already, though, it seems like, for the past couple weeks. Anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. Let's talk to you about cars. UW plays naked out in the snow. A Mustang picks the wrong time to do a burnout. GM never should have got rid of Pontiac, but to make nice, they may bring back the G8 as a new model. Yeah, some Sebring results and a little bit of Dumbass Tuesday for you. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, back from New Orleans. Still feeling it, though, a little bit. Sound of it. Yeah. Where's Cat today? Not here. Huh. Ah, oh, a real cat. Nice. Ah. Oh. All right, I'm back. My voice is not 100% though. You have a good time? I had a great time. It was a blast. A lot of crazy stories, but real quick, yesterday morning when I woke up, like it wasn't, I was, it wasn't that I was that like, drunk the night before, it was just the constant drinking and eating bad food and not sleeping. I woke up yesterday morning with the biggest hangover. We have to be up 5.30 in the morning, take a seven o'clock flight, hungover is all hell, get on the plane, we, and I'm a good flyer, we take off. Needless to say, the throw up bag in front of me was used. And I had to, did you autograph it before you gave it to the flight attendant? I did, I did. No, I did, I got, I got to the bathroom and threw it out. Luckily, the woman next to me actually had her headphones on and her eyes shut and her head back, she didn't notice. But the girl next to her did, and actually felt bad and gave me a piece of gum. So, if she's watching, I know she's not, thank you. All right, let's get out to the car news. VW must have heard us last week when we said they were slow because they rushed to show their new XL1 prototype winter testing. It's kind of a shock that VW is letting us, letting us see its new model out to play completely naked. No, not that kind of model, Ian, but hey, we do enjoy that as well. This one liter whip has finally been confirmed for a limited production run in 2013. The L1 prototype started development in 2009 and was revised to the XL1 name last year which should be its production name. Strange. So, I mean, should I buy a Passat, Jetta, Golf, or XL1? Hmm, just a little, a little off of VW's normal nameage. Oh, Derek, but there's a GT, there's a GTI. <clears throat> Although this thing may look like it's fast, it's not. It'll probably be even slower than the Golf Emotion we talked about on Friday. The tiny engine inside should make ridiculous fuel, fuel numbers, though. See, I'm still hungover. It's, we'll keep going on. The concept did go for a thousand, wow. Wow. It must be a Tuesday after a long weekend in New Orleans. That's what it must be. The concept did go for a thousand, uh, <laughs> You're not kidding, Derek. Long weekend. I meant to say the concept did go for 100 kilometers on just 0.9 liters of fuel, so you got that. It's kind of like an Audi A7 and an R8 had sex and came up with this, except they didn't pass on the gene of a speedy engine. Although it does look nice, it's, it's very sleek and cool looking, and it's got no camo, so, sweet. Burnouts, you know, they're pretty fun, I guess, if that's your thing. I mean, hell, some people make whole shows about them, like our good buddy Matt Farah. However, you should know when to do a burnout. Like, right in front of two cops is probably a time when you should fasten your seatbelt, look straight ahead, and not initiate a smoke billowing, loud as hell burnout in your silver Mustang. This driver decided to go just go for it in front of a large crowd in Houston, Texas. People were leaving an event at Lone Star Motorsports Park and the traffic gave a couple people a chance to peel out a bit before this brainiac pulled an extensive burnout only to be arrested while still performing the stunt. Yeah, he was actually still doing the burnout when the cops were trying to arrest him. The crowd hates on the cops quite a bit, yelling at them and throwing trash. But at one point, some guy yells, F you, America! As if a parking lot burnout in Texas with a deputy sporting a cowboy hat doesn't just scream, America. Anyway, if you want to watch the full clip, the link is in the description. And yes, this guy is a dumbass, but that's not our Dumbass Tuesday. Moving on. As I'm sure most of you would agree, GM should have kept Pontiac. What do you think, AK? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think so too. They should have got rid of one of the others that they kept, personally, in my opinion especially because Pontiac closed its doors and it took the awesome but short-lived G8 with them in 2009. Although, now we may have some uplifting news for you guys who are a fan of the G8. 
GM has announced that the 2013 NASCAR season will feature a new model and it won't be the Impala. This could mean the Holden Commodore based Caprice slash G8 in the States is coming back to America for the 2014 model year as a new model. The Caprice PPV is currently used by some police. Another alternative for GM may be renaming the upcoming Impala considering it has had a little bit of a bad rap with rental companies and consumers. I mean, let's be honest, it has looked like a block of crap for several years now. All right, either way, GM isn't saying for sure, so we won't know until the new model is actually revealed. So keep your fingers crossed, all you G8 lovers. I'm, I'm a fan of the G8. That is a nice car, real nice car. All right, for you race fans, here's some results from the 12 hours of Sebring this past weekend in case you missed them. Coming in first was Alan McNish, Tom Christensen, and Dido Capello in the Audi R18. No surprise, Audi's R18 won everything in the LMP1 class now that Peugeot has withdrawn from Le Mans. All right, and as you can see here, there's your second and third place winners. Moving on, as if a doing a burnout in your Mustang in front of a cop wasn't dumb enough, let's look at some more idiots for Dumbass Tuesday, shall we, AK? Sure, let's do it. What do you think, Ian? Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. Check out these guys trying to move this car that is apparently stuck on a curb or something. Take notice of the hill to the right and that no one ever decides to actually sit in the car to control it in case it got away from them. After more and more pushing, it starts to roll forward again, almost actually smushes the guy on the left against the wall, goes flying down the hill, unmanned, and boom. That's what you call a successful fail, right AK? Let's listen to that hit, it's audio, when the car hits. Yeah, nice. Also, if you notice, there's a little Playboy sticker on the back of the windshield. What man puts a Playboy sticker on their car? Now I know Playboy is a mag magazine full of hot chicks, but only girls use Playboy stickers. Let me put that on my car, it's cool. Not cool, you're a dumbass. Oh, and apparently this whole jumping over cars thing still hasn't gone away, look at this guy. Ouch, yeah. If you actually watch that video, we'll put, the, we'll put the links for both of these in the description at the end. He's like, that's effing awesome. Why wow, he has like a broken face. <laughs> Terrible. Well, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. It's the first day of spring, as AK said, so go outside, but then come back inside and go on your computer, and then go to twitter.com slash fastlanedaily and follow us. And then you can go to facebook.com slash fastlanedaily, and you can like us, and then you go to YouTube and subscribe to us. How about that, AK? Happy spring. All right. I have to go rest my voice. I'll be 100% tomorrow, I promise. Bye. Always fresh, every day, Fast Lane Daily. Spring has sprung throughout the land. It's Derek D. Let's give a hand. Oh, oh I thought you were going to. There you go. No, I was just doing something. All right. Or you, you should try to do something okay. with that. All right. Wait, what are you doing? The L1 prototype started development in 19, 1909. This driver decided to go. Let's go back. I'm living in a fast lane, baby.